Hi, Daryl from Select Driving School here. We're going to follow the snap nav again today just to give a bit more demonstration about this section that you're more than likely to do on your driving test. So we've got the sat nav set up, we're going to follow it for about five minutes and what I'm hoping to do is to try and help you relate what you can see on the screen to what's going out on outside the windscreen. So we're going to set off now from the side of the road, to wait for this car to pass us and you can see ahead of you we've got the pink line indicating the route that we're going to take and then you're looking out for these white arrow icons that indicate the turns that the sat nav wants you to take. In the case of this one, we can see the next one, which the sat nav will mention in a moment, is quite a sharp turn to the right. And you can see the map moves with the road. So the map is always orientating itself so that it's facing straight turn ahead. Turn right onto Savile Park Road, and then the turn left. So it's telling us to turn right, and we can see the end of the road approaching. signals, you know, wait for a safe gap, a little bit of a closed junction this one so I'm just going to creep forward a little bit, up the view, cars turning in front of us, travelling across, a little bit busier than usual. And you can see how the sat navs are pretty accurate. The blue icon is bang on the end of that road, which I can now exit. So again, the map turns as we turn, and we can see the white icon extending ahead of us, indicating turn left onto Emscote Street the South, turn then left turn into right. The next street. Turn right onto Emscote Place, then turn left. It's taking us through quite a higgledy piggledy route, this one. A little bit of a jolt there as we go through that gutter. And follow the road up, and we can see again, looking at the screen, looking out the window, we can see turn the right left hand icon onto Horshaw Road, indicating then that we're now reaching right. the end of the road. So quite a few turns in quick succession there. What we're now going to have is a little bit of a section where there will be a distance to travel before we get to the turn. You can see that's indicated in the top right in a quarter left hand of a mile, corner was keep right point two of a mile, road. quarter of a mile per the sat nav's verbal instructions. And we can see there's a distance of pink line between us and that icon. And that really means that we can concentrate on the road ahead rather than worrying about our turn. We can see two junctions between us and Keep the icon. Right so there's on one on the left road, there. Then turn left. And the next one. And then we've got a road on the right and that's also before the icon. So the icon is actually indicating the mini roundabout. So again it's important that you try and spot any roads in between you and the actual instruction. Quite often, one turn of the common left mistakes. Turn left onto Way, then turn right. Common mistakes that people make is to turn, turn right too onto soon. Queen's Road. They get told to turn left, and they start getting ready to make that turn quite quickly, and turn up a road that is actually before the instruction. So it's important that you look at where the icon is in relation to your car. Or the blue arrow is, is in this case and whether or not there's anything in between you and the icon so you always want to turn on the road that the icon is indicating so here again it's telling us to turn right in this case it's at the traffic lights you can see we're onto the icon and we're reaching the point where it actually bends to the right. So we're going to secure the car because we're at the traffic lights and it looks like we're going to be waiting for a little while. If we're going to be here for more than a 
good few seconds it's probably worth considering switching the engine off if you want to try and conserve fuel um, but more importantly try and reduce the amount of air pollution so we're turning right onto Queen's Road and then again the countdown in the top left it's now telling us it's half a mile in before half a our mile, next turn. Turn left onto Tribbett Street. Now, half a mile in town represents around about a minute's worth of travel at least, because we're going to do 20 to 30 miles an hour in town, and that means it's going to take us around about a minute, maybe slightly more, to travel at half a mile. So that means that we can again concentrate on the road ahead. Let's concentrate on the hazards that we can see, so the traffic lights, parked cars, traffic coming towards us, anything else that might be going on. We don't want to be particularly fretting about what the sat nav's asking us to do because we've got at least a minute before we're going to get there. Again we can see plenty of left hand turns between us and where the sat nav wants us to turn. passing all these junctions on our left and then we're going to get to another set of traffic lights. In a quarter lights. of a mile, turn left onto Tribbett Street, then turn left. So this set of traffic lights, again that is not the junction we want, we can still see an extent of pink line between us and the icon. So going past that one as well and again looking ahead we can see on the map two roads that's the first one between us and the actual turn this is the second so we wouldn't want either of those however now we're approaching the next one it's counting down turn left We've got onto 70 Street, yards then 60 turn yards left. we're obviously making our preparations in terms of mirrors and signals and we're going to turn into that road As we reach the icon and then finally we virtually reach the destination now which is indicated by the checkered flag again we've got 0.1 of a mile it's just about 170 yards